Wish I could learn how to edit text to localize Fallout 2 mods for the Hispanic community. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean edit text? I'll show you how if you want real quick. I guess edit the dialogues. Okay. I assume you've already been through my videos on installing the SFall script editor and all the other software. But you take your SFall script editor and you go to your dialogue. There's a dialogue button right up here at the top. And you can open it, open up the associated message file. Right here, you can just edit these and translate them yourself if you want. Now, the only problem with this is that you have to do them line by line. You can't just highlight, select everything and go to it. However, there's an alternative. If you go to the mod uh, folder, if you go to the mod that's already in there, um, and you go to data slash text slash English dialogue, and you go to one of these dialogues, let's see. I don't think any of them have really very much in them right now. They're all new. Uh, Queen Claw is probably the best one. Let's go ahead and if you go to open with, open it with notepad right here. And there, there's your dialogue right there. Well, if you copy this dialogue, let's say, let's go to Google Translate real quick. Copy this dialogue and uh, open Google Translate proper. Paste it into Google Translate and tell it the language you want it to come out is Spanish. Uh, there you go. There's your basic dialogue that actually should translate. And let's actually test it real quick. I'm, I'm going to make a backup before I do this. Control C, V, copy explorer. There we go. There's our backup. Control C, Control V. And we delete this extra stuff up here. You may have to remove these spaces. I'm going to test this real quick without removing the spaces. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and open it up and go ahead and test this out. So this is Queen Claw. And Queen Claw is over here. There you go. It actually works. Dios mío. No eres no un humano de aspecto flaco. I don't even know. I, this is probably, it's Google Translate. So it's terrible translation, I'm sure. But there you go. That's actually all you have to do. So if you wanted to edit the dialogues to localize them to Spanish, you got Google Translate, you got access to Google Translate. Grab the mod. It takes it takes work still. Grab a mod, go to the, to the text folder. You're, you're welcome, dude. I, I hope I could help you out. I hope I was able to expand the range of mods that you and everybody else around you have access to. Um, if you're willing to do the work, dude, I really want to bring Fallout 2 to my Spanish community. Dude, do it. Absolutely. Now, just to be clear, this is just for dialogue files. This only really works for dialogue files because actually there are combat files as well. Uh, like map.message here, although with notepad. Map.message has something completely different. The only thing is like some of the descriptions are used and stuff like that. So you may have to translate these but these are usually proper names so you won't have to worry about that too much um and and you go into the game there's also comment message like oh uh, if you go to open with notepad comment messages these are all uh by default in english or at least what i have built in that if you have a copy of fallout 2 that's localized to your area you should be able to use the comment message that comes with that one in spanish and you shouldn't have to worry about it too much that being said depending on the mod different combat messages may have been added in and there's like there's a few other messages like script.message no this one actually can be ignored never mind uh how about, what's on map.message there you go map.message so there's like there's a few other files you want to google translate but you'll also these ones you want to have a lot more put a lot more care into how whether or not you translate them and, and what they do uh, like here's descriptions of all the npcs and this is something you got to watch out for in, in procrit.msg. You can't really Google translate these very well because they're most of them are names, but not all of them are because they're descriptions. And here's the pro item.msg. Now this one's another big one right here. These are items, but you got to, you got to, you do have to proofread all of it. That's the only problem. Anyway, do you have a sort of discord community? Yeah, I do. It's kind of pretty late here in Chile and I got to go, but really appreciate this tip. You do. Yeah, no problem. Here, let me give you a, let me give me a discord. Here you go. There's my Discord. Feel free to join up. I hope you have a nice night. Thank you for hanging out.